Good evening. Which character are you most like in the Bible? Obviously Jesus. I love to dance. Good evening, young people. Welcome back to our channel. Uh, if you don't know me, which I hope you would by now, but my name is Becca. I am the youth ministry leader Ooh. at uh, Christchurch Baptist Wellington City, and today I'm doing a QA. So I took to Instagram, and if you're not following us on Instagram already, our Instagram is at CCWGC Youth. I think I'm going to put it here right here and asked for um, some questions and you gave me some really really difficult ones so without further ado here are my answers um, I'm sorry about the quality of this I dropped my phone and I've got a little mark on my camera so I think I'm gonna sort cameras and see if that helps is that better I don't know we're gonna stick with this camera just because the lighting's a bit better at sorting itself out um, and we may regret this we do not know but we'll find out so I'm actually not going to tell you who asked these questions because some of the questions were asked by loads of you so we're gonna get going um, okay so the first question I got was how old are you with a laughing face and we know why there's a laughing face. It's because, if you don't know, I am 25 and I did check with Dave just before I filmed this. But for some reason, I don't know how it happened, but when Dave turned 25 and I was still 24, for some reason, when he turned 25, I thought I had. So I spent from March until December when I actually turned 25, telling everyone I was 25. So when I turned 25, I thought I was turning 26 and I got really excited. And it turned out I was still 25. So I've been 25 for a year over a year and I've still got another nine months of being 25. What is your full name? My full name is Rebecca Louise Cronin and originally it was Rebecca Louise Borum. The reason that I called Rebecca Louise is so that my nickname could be Becky Lou. Nobody has called me Becky Lou in my life and don't start calling me Becky Lou because that is not a name that suits me. What's your favourite thing about Christchurch? Are you lot? I think you're brilliant. You're literally the best. This was actually one of my favourite questions and it was, how are you? Simple, to the point, I like it. I'm doing all right. Um, I'm really missing you lot. I'm missing youth work. It's weird like, talking to you and nobody's responding. Um, Dave set a new rule where I have to call my mum every day and talk to her because otherwise he's working from home so he's up in his office from nine until about half five, six. Um, so I don't really talk to him. So when he comes down I'm like Rrr! So the new rule is I have to call my mum during the day. So yeah, I'm doing great. I'm a bit tired, but I'm doing great. So the next question is, what is your McDonald's order now? My go-to order is a crispy sweet chili wrap with chips, a large, so Dave can have half my chips, with a Diet Coke, um, or a fish, a fillet of fish, fish, whatever the fish thing is. Oh, I just love it. It's like a fish finger sandwich, but better. It's got cheese in it. Okay, this was <laughs> the most asked question and it is hi becca hi we know you love pizza true but what is your favorite pizza topping now i'm taking that as like what what pizza would i order um i've got two takeaway pizza anything like meaty like the meteor meat feast anything with a lot of meat on that cumberland sausage i don't even know what's different about that sausage to a regular sausage but it is divine in a restaurant, and I don't eat pizza that much in a restaurant because you can't eat pizza nice, can you? Like with a knife and fork, are you okay? Um, but if I am at Pizza Express, it's the Fiorentina, which is spinach, olives, and like a fried egg in the middle. That sounds rank, doesn't it? <laughs> it's actually really nice. What breed of dog is Cooper? Um, at this point, I would pick him up, but he's eating a pig's ear and it stinks so I don't really want him anywhere near me so if you can hear him in the background sorry about that 
um, but Cooper is an Australian Labradoodle. He is nine months and he's really cute. I'm sure I've inserted pictures and videos of him over the top of this, but. Um, and he's actually training to be a therapy dog, so he's been at youth a couple of times. Um, a lot of you have met him and love him like we do. Um, so hopefully when all this is over, you can come and give him lots of cuddles. Okay, this was also a very asked question. It's a two part question. The first is, how many pairs of trainers do you have? And the second one is, what is your ultimate favorite pair of trainers you own? Um, I reckon, I don't actually know how many pairs of trainers I have, but I guess between 30 and 40, but these are my favorite trainers. So, hallelujah, hallelujah. These are my ultimate favorite trainers. I know what you're thinking. They've still got this in. Yes, they have. These were from Dave for my birthday. They are Nike Air 200s, I think, but he customised them. I love these. I have not worn these, um, but these are my favourite trainers. And then these, they're quite a similar style. These or my Nike Air Forces, but everyone wears them. I love these, and these are my like everyday trainers. I've literally just taken them off my feet. And these were a bargain. These are originally like $89.99. In the kits, they're originally $59.99, and I think it's shoes. Then they were in the sale, and they were $14.99. 14.99. So the next question, which I also got a few times, um, was what is your favorite Bible verse? Now, that's hard to answer. I don't have a favorite Bible verse. Um, there are like sections of the Bible I think are sick. Um, I mean, all the Bibles got inspired. Um, Psalm 23 is one of my ultimate favourites, but my current favourite, and that's kind of what happens, um, I read different bits of the Bible every day, and then each time I read it, I'm like, oh, this is my favourite verse ever! And then the next day, I've got a new one. So this is my current favourite one, which you will recognise. Oh no, you won't. Oh, this is like a sneak peek at the youth devotions coming out on Monday. And it is Ephesians 6, 13 to 18, and this is the message version. Be prepared. You're up against far more than you can handle on your own. Take all the help you can get, every weapon God has issued, so that when it's all over, you'll still be on your feet. Truth, righteousness, peace, faith, and salvation are more than words. Learn how to apply them. You'll need them throughout your life. God's word is an indispensable weapon. In the same way, prayer is essential in this ongoing warfare. Pray hard and long. Pray for your brothers and sisters. Keep your eyes open. Keep each other's spirits up so that no one falls behind or drops out. Which one have I done? This one. Which character are you most like in the Bible? Obviously Jesus. No, I'm joking. Definitely not Jesus, sorry parents. I don't know, I've had loads of people in the last few years speak lots of prophecies over me about being Queen Vashti, um, who in short, they wanted um, Esther to parade, not Esther at youth, Esther in the Bible, to parade naked in front of all these men and Queen Vashti was supposed to be doing it first and she said I'm not doing it. And this whole idea of like paving the way so other people not have it easier but like having a voice for other people and it not just being like I don't want to parade naked so I'm not going to do it but being someone who brings about change which is pretty sick okay interesting so what drew you towards youth work I always wanted to be a primary school teacher set to do that in the September October um, and then in the April I felt God really strongly called me to work with this youth work charity XLP so I spent four years with them in the end and I got there the minute I got there I loved it I can't even describe I just knew that was what I was supposed to be doing um, and then I started studying it at St Melitus I loved my classmates like I had the most incredible classmates and I learned so much about youth work from them and the more I learned from them the more ideas I had and the more my passion grew and now I love it so that's kind of how I fell into it. I'm so glad I did, and I hope you're glad too. Otherwise, that's a little bit awkward, isn't it? Favourite memory. Memory. La, la. I don't know the words. My favourite memory has to be my wedding day. It was literally the best day ever. Not only did I get to marry Dave, but it was just so fun. 
And my favourite memory from my wedding. Um, I've got three. I'm just going to share all three. The first is, before we got married, um, me and Dave had already decided we wanted to pray together. Um, and that was a huge moment for us of just being like, declaring that as like, this isn't about us and it's not about the flowers and it's not about the cake. Even though all those things were brilliant. Um, but this is about us committing to each other in front of God with God. Um, there was a bit in the service where my friend Naomi did this talk and she is phenomenal. Um, but she did, she tied strawberry laces together so it's a knot in the middle and we had to race to the middle. I won, obviously. So Dave like really gently pushed me over, <laughs> pulled it out my mouth and won, cheating. Um, and I couldn't get up. It was hilarious. Um, and my last one is just dancing. Like, I love to dance. Then our band was sick. Like, there was a lot of dancing. Um, I love dancing. Is Santa real? Ask your parents, kids. Oh, interesting question. Is it true Dan Shield is your favourite? I wonder who could have asked that. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Someone just put, screw you, Dave. <laughs> okay, this is the last one. This is hard. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? I don't know. That's the truth. Um, this is actually really quite a challenge. Five years time. Do, 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 do. Five years time. Five years time. Hmm. Um, I think the main thing would be that we'd be healthy. I'm sure most of you know I had surgery in the summer, which ended up giving my body loads of complications so I'm still not well so I think being well enough just to be fully me like I'm a bit of a wacko I love a boogie like and I'd like to think I'll still be doing youth work right so I think we'll wrap things up there there are still some questions coming in so maybe we'll do a part two thank you for watching I know I'll put the questions in the subscription box is that what's called description box I'll put the thing in the description box and you can comment your answers and we can get to know each other it'd be wonderful see you soon bye